Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a zombies map. So our map is done. It's now time to share it with your friends. There's a few things that you need to download. The first thing, the first link is going to be a link to download this right here. It's underscore zombie mode underscore zone underscore manager. Once that's downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to go on to the root of your Call of Duty. You're going to go into mods and then your map name, then maps and then you're gonna paste this in so copy paste it in and always keep a backup of this I put it in my War at War modules because you're gonna be using this for all of them what this file does is if when you load up the map on the top left where it talks about the zones this removes it that way when you share the map it's not on everyone's map that's playing your map so just put it where I told you like I said root mod your map name maps and then paste it in there then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our launcher so in here we're going to go to our mod, our map name, and then we're going to make sure that the underscore zombie mode underscore zone underscore manager is ticked over here. You're going to build the mod fast files and the IWD file, so hit build mod. Wait for this to do its thing, it could take a few moments. Then we're going to switch over to compile level, and we're going to compile our level. However, this time we're not going to run it after it compiles. So just compile it like normal, give it a few moments to do everything it needs to do, also, you want to make sure that you're not getting any errors. Make sure right here when this pops up that there's no, uh, you don't see the blue or the orange inside of your map uh, pictures. If you do, it means there's a leak and you want to fix that. So kind of see where that is and then try to patch that up before you release this because you don't want to release your map with any errors. And now once this is done, what we're going to do is we're going to go to your map name underscore patch and you're going to build the fast files and make sure it's still mod specific and room. Pretty much what this is going to do is just add a patch to make sure everything works correctly. It's mainly just going to fix the dogs. If you would have opened it up before doing this, you would have had issues with the dogs. Now what we need to do is we need to head on over to ugxmods.com. And right here, I'll put the link in the description, we're going to download their installation creator version 1.1. Hit the download file, and then for me, it is in my mod folders already, the mod tools, so we'll just we'll remove out of this. And then we're going to open it up. It's going to be right here, UGX installation creator version 1.1. And then we're going to go into the bin, and then we're going to right click and run as admin and open it up. And you're going to get this thing right here, this window. So I'll close this as well. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit open. And in the map section or wherever this shows up, you just want to click here so you can delete everything. Type in percent app data percent and hit enter. Then we're going to go from roaming. We're going to go back into app data like so. And then we're going to go into local. And then inside local, we'll go to Activision. Inside Activision, we'll go to Codwa. Inside that, we'll go to mods. And then here, we're going to find our map. So here's our map right here, it's called Room. Now you're gonna need a new software called, uh, a software that can turn it into a zip file. I'm gonna use WinRAR, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. If you watch my other tutorials, you probably already have it. But you wanna right click, and then go to Add to Archive. And it's gonna open up this. Then all you have to do in here is just click Zip instead of RAR, change it to Zip, hit OK. Wait for it to do its thing, and then that's going to scroll to the bottom. It's going to make a folder. Oops, I accidentally opened it. It's going to make a zip folder right here of your map. So you can just click that and then hit open. Let it do its thing. It's going to extract all the files like so. And then all you have to do is you can change the installer name if you would like. We'll keep it the same. And then change the output exe file. Hit browse and put this wherever you want your map to be. I created a map folder like you can see here. And then this is my old room, but we'll just save it as room, and we'll hit save. And then right here in compression, change it from LZMA to BZIP2, and tick solid. And then just hit generate. So give it a few moments for it to do that. It's going to build everything. It's going to compress it. It's going to turn it into an EXE. This way, when you share your map, you can just send them this EXE. They can click it, open it up click uh, next a few times it'll install the map exactly where it needs to go that way your friends or anything like that don't have to open up any other folders so just give it a few moments for it to do that and then you can hit close and there you go so what we'll do is we'll open up our ward at war now instead of going to the actual um, launcher we'll just open it up normal we'll give it a few moments 
and actually what I'll do is I'll close out of this real quick I'll show you what the installer looks like so if they were to install their map they can hit room and this is what it'll look like so you'll get the UGX installer you'll hit next I agree wait for it to do its thing it's gonna install the map for you give it a few moments give it a few more moments it's just adding in the fast files and then you can hit finish and then this would actually create another folder right here called UGX Community Maps. And then you can actually just hit Room, and it's going to launch the mod for you. It's one thing I like about UGX. They add a lot of customizability. Now you don't even have to launch the mod, but normally you would hit Mods, and then you would go into your map name, which is Room right here, hit Launch. And then since we haven't added a solo button, you hit the tilde key. If you can't hit that, you need to go into options, uh, game options, enable console. And then you can hit the console and do map space your map name. Load it up. And there you go. Be sure to test your install before you send it to everyone. As you can see, up on the top left right here, there's no more zone information. We deleted it with that file I sent you, I told you guys to download. And there you go. Here's your map. You've sent it off to your friends. So upload it to mediafire.com. If you've made a cool map that's different than this one, send it to me. I'd love to play it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Also, check out the playlist and so you can learn other stuff. And if you would like to, click the support button on my YouTube channel and send me some love. Now guys, this is it for the tutorial series as a basic map. But don't worry, we'll, we'll, we will be continuing it with mystery box, perks, pack-a-punch, and so much customizable stuff. So I hope you guys continue to watch this series and enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.